Hi guys, welcome to how to and I hope you all are doing good. So in this tutorial I am going to talk about windows.alt folder and how to delete windows.alt folder and free up your space. So you know if you have upgraded from your previous version of windows to windows 10 you should see a new folder on your C drive called windows.alt yeah so this is the windows.alt I upgraded from windows 8.1 to windows 10 so I have this windows.alt folder and there are windows all you know all the windows 8.1 files in this folder so what happens is that when you install or when you upgrade from previous version of windows to windows 10 so windows move all your old Windows uh, Windows files to windows.alt and replace it with the new windows folder and its new files however some people are confused uh, if they should delete it or keep it there so they are not sure so actually it's perfectly okay to delete windows.alt folder there's nothing wrong nothing is going to happen you can delete it and free up a lot of space actually now this windows.all folder uh, takes up about 70 gigabytes of space on my computer on my C drive so if I delete this I can use that for something else yeah so I, I can also speed up my computer so you know so it's perfectly okay to delete however on Windows 10 there is an option to go back to your previous version within a month if you have upgraded from Windows 8 8.1 or Windows 7 to Windows 10 Windows 10 offers you an option to go back to your previous version so go to your settings and updates and recovery and here you can see go back to Windows 8.1 but however this option is only available for a month after you upgrade to Windows 10 then it will be deleted automatically so if you are sure that you are not going back you actually like the new OS uh, you know you must like it it's wonderful OS just delete it then it's gonna save you a lot of space on your disk so actually you can delete it yeah right so if you want to delete how to delete it so there are two ways to delete this windows.old file okay so one is go to settings and system and storage then open this PC or C drive and go all the way down and here you can see this temporary file so this temporary folder uh, takes up about 14 gigabyte if you free up that space you could use it for something else so here so it's still calculating I think right okay here you can see that previous version of Windows you can delete this previous version of Windows from here delete previous version so once you clicked it it's gone and you can never get it back okay so after deleting it you can go back to your previous version of Windows from Windows 10 of course you can clean install Windows 8 or Windows 7 on your Windows 10 PC but that's not how it works if you want to downgrade from Windows 10 and get all the old files and apps on that version of Windows uh, you can't do that once you delete windows.alt folder this is a one way then another way is to go to disk cleanup you can get disk cleanup from all apps and click letters and go to W then here Windows administrative tools and click disk cleanup actually to access this wizard you don't actually need to do that you can just type in disk cleanup so here it will show up so click this disk cleanup and it will open this wizard so choose the C drive and click OK and it will calculate the total space you will be able to free on this drive it will take a few seconds before it finishes calculating so here it is so it's finished calculating and you can free up about 449 MB of disk space however in this section it won't first show 
the windows alt files windows dot alt folder or previous version of windows so you need to click clean up system files so it will again take you back to disk cleanup wizard then choose the same drive and click ok it will again calculate then it will launch this wizard then here you can see previous version of windows windows upgrade logs and you can also see the files discarded by windows upgrade and previous windows installation here see that 17 gb so i recommend using uh, disk cleanup for uh, cleaning up your disk so you can free up more space you know this works well so from here you can also delete some other folders as well you know, so like temporary windows installation files and uh, if you want to free up recycle bin you can also do that and system rk windows error report so there may be many other files you want to delete you no longer need on your system so you can delete all those files and free up your base it will also improve the performance of your computer like it, it will speed up your computer you know then make sure that you choose this and this is the previous windows file if you don't choose that it, it won't delete your windows.alt folder okay once you have selected all the files and folders that you want to delete then it will show a total amount of space that you are going to gain then once you're set click ok so i'm going to click ok i'm going to delete all those windows files and all other necessary files and i'm going to free up my disk so click ok then it will be deleted then again make sure that you are not going back to your previous version within a month you want to free up your disk space so it's perfectly okay to delete windows.all folder from the c drive you can either go to windows settings to delete this or you can use disk cleanup okay once you are set just click ok then it's a dialog box then are you sure you want to permanently delete these files then click delete files it's gonna take a few minutes depending on your system files so wait till it completes the task now here you can see that I have 26.9 gigabytes so free storage then again a new dialog box if you clean up the previous windows installation or tumblr installation files you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the previous version of windows you are sure that you are not going back to your previous version of windows then click yes So finally it has finished the task yeah, now you can see that it's been 37.9 Windows Explorer has uh, restarted here you can't see that windows.all folder that's been deleted now if you go to settings updates and recovery there's no longer that recovery option you know going back option it's gone so make sure that you are not going back to your previous version before you delete windows.all folder so that's it guys that's how you delete windows.all folder and free up disk space on your computer i hope this helps and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank for watching